the thing we've got to get out of here is this little kick plate underneath that uh, is covering up the bottom of the plenum box. There are two screws that hold that in place, and the first one is right here. It's going to be real easy to get to. We'll get that with a 7 millimeter ratchet. And then the back uh, screw is kind of in here above the uh, transmission tunnel, and you can feel that. Let's take that first screw out. It's gotten great. that loose, and now we can kind of pull this down. And what we suggest you do on that back screw, you can certainly try to take it out, uh, but even if you get it out, it's uh, even more of a trouble to put it back in. So what we'll generally do on these is drop this, <clears throat> after taking out one screw and then use a pry bar to uh, just break that plastic uh, on the back there where it's connected and then we'll be able to just pull this out. Now when we reinstall it and just real quick you can see that that screw has to go up in this deep hole and uh, it's you don't have room to get up in there and put the screw in place uh, so we just break that out. Uh, when you put it back together, if you're concerned that it may rattle, you may just stuff some foam up under the back end of this, uh, but actually it's secure enough that you won't have a problem with it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove the little wire here, and there's a little black tab on the front of that, and you push that and just pull down. And then we've got two screws. This is the little actuator motor holding it in place. And I've got one kind of partially pulled down so you can see it. And uh, we'll take that screw out and the other one. Now those screws are not easy to get to, so you're going to have to feel around. Um, but you, you will be able to get that. And uh, you need a, uh, a six millimeter uh, socket to... Uh, to remove that screw. So we're going to go ahead and pull that one out. We'll pull that first one out and there's the screw. And then we'll work on the back one. Okay, and that one we can kind of see is more on the back of the motor and you can feel it up under there. And we're going to do that off camera. And once we've gotten the screws out, then that motor will just drop straight down. Okay, and kind of looking at it from this side, the screws are here and here. So those are the two screws that we pulled out, and this will just plug back in. Now, if you, you can move the uh, axle on that and get this to go up in it and then slide it and screw it back in place. If you want to turn the motor a little bit, uh, you can very carefully connect the electronics, you know, back in it and adjusting the temperature very slightly uh, make that motor move, but it will tend to want to move more than you want it to, so you want to be ready to pull the socket out real quick when you uh, get it to the point you want. So we've gotten that motor out, and now we'll just insert the new motor in, uh, fight the screws again and get it back in place and uh, connect the wire to it. Okay, we've gotten that motor put back in place and gotten the screws in. One thing you want to make sure you don't forget is to plug the wire in. And uh, let's get that in the right spot there. Hard to do from this angle. Okay, so we've got the wire in place and it's closed up. Uh, all we got left is to put the cover back on this and, uh, and if you'll check out the heatertreater.net website, you'll find additional information.